In this video, with some simple code, I'll show you how you can create a drop zone for files and images. I'd like to thank Ian from NAC Pros for providing this code. Uh, if you want to check out his profile, head over to the expert channel and look for NAC Pros, and you can link through to his website there. Okay, so let's jump in. As you may be familiar, uh, when you're adding an image, you would normally click on choose file. It is possible if you drag and you carefully drop the image right on the button to actually upload an image from drag and drop. But it's a little bit hit and miss because if you're a little bit out, it will just open the image in your browser. So I'm just gonna close this down. So what we can do is actually make this drop zone bigger with this code. So if you head over to settings, API and code and into the CSS section, copy all of this code, paste it in. We will need to change the field because this is the field for the image or the document. So I'm just going to save this. Now I'm going to click on records and the table or the object, which is pet pictures. And I'm going to change it to the fields view. I'm then going to toggle on the show field keys. And it's this field 222 is the field ID for this uh, particular image. So this is the field here that we want to populate. So back to API code and the CSS section, update uh, this to 222 and update this as well. And obviously save. So back to the live app, do a browser refresh. And then when I click on add now, I get a drop zone. So if I can bring my image over, I can drop it anywhere inside this blue section and that will upload. Then shows here that it's uploaded. So I can fill in my title notes and submit. Hopefully you found that uh, piece of code from Ian very useful. Look forward to catching you on the next one.